So this is what I was talking about with the, the trip linkage. The way this thing engages is this comes over, it gets pushed up, and it pops this latch here, and then the cycle engages. When you hit the, the auto button, what's supposed to happen is, I'll just watch I'll, as I move it here, that this here pulls over, and this is pushed into the, you know, this piece here. And I'll turn it around, you can see what I mean about the ramp. That little piece right there is what actually kicks this up. And the tab that sticks straight out is what keeps this from engaging until it's, you know, pushed over all the way. So if it's not quite there, what you'll get is that. And it'll just kick the arm back. If it pulls all the way over, you'll get... Uh, disengages the latch. Now the cycle cam is engaged. And since it's sitting on something, it's going to be bound up in there. <clears throat> but I'm going to guess that either you've got something on this plate and it's not dragging the arm over. Uh, that screw was adjusted too far up, so there's not actually any friction here. This should just be clean and dry. Just you know, clean it with alcohol. Uh, this is... I think it's a felt... I think it's a little wad of felt underneath of there. I don't remember off the top of my head. The other possibility is... I can turn this over one-handed. Um, this linkage here is what engages the... You know, causes the trip linkage to go. And it's, it's just kind of pulled with... Uh, well, right there. It's pushed on by this, which is driven from here. If this spring isn't in place, this arm won't, you know, make contact with this here. And if this pivot is sticky, it won't work either. So that would be my guess as to where the trouble is. But, uh, or, you know, if a, one of these linkages is not installed in the right spot, if this is over top of something, it won't work correctly either. So... I uh, hope that helps, and uh, best of luck.